All right, you guys, it's Michelle 360. This is my first video I'm filming with my new camera. Well, my new cell phone, but you know, things. You might notice some video quality difference. You might not, doesn't really matter to me because I'm filming to talk, not to win awards for cinematography. So this is a video to kind of follow up with the whole Wanho situation based on where I left off on my last video and to talk about the produce scandal because Surprisingly enough, there is some relation there. So let's just get into it. Um, when we last left off on my channel, Wanho had just announced that he was leaving Monster X. He had done a handwritten letter, and the company was like, this is the decision that he made. And at the time I did the video, I said, I thought that maybe the reason why Wanho decided to leave the group rather than continue to fight all of the rumors and everything else was because he knew that more stuff was coming down the pipe and maybe he just didn't want to deal with it. He didn't want to keep having to defend his name against the mistakes that he's made in the past, against things that he's tried to change about himself, against just the opinion of the public that once you do wrong, you're always in the wrong. Well, it seems like I wasn't that far off because not long after I made that video, Jung De Eun and Han So Yi revealed that Won Ho had smoked marijuana back in 2013 before he was an idol. And after that is when Starship did a press release saying that they were not going to be able to maintain Won Ho's contract with Starship. Now, how does the produce scandal have anything to do with what's going on with Won Ho? Well, let's talk about what the produce scandal is for those of you who aren't on the up and up and haven't been following it. I watched seasons three and four of Produce because it was the biggest show on, in K-pop, honestly, for real. You know, season one, IOI did super well in terms of K-pop album sales. Season two, 101 did amazing in terms of album sales. So I wanted to be in on the ground floor. So I decided to watch seasons three and four. And I remember when I reviewed season three, I told everybody, I did not agree with the final lineup. I thought the final lineup was weak. A lot of people that were in the final lineup, I didn't remember seeing them have that much focus during the show. There's no way they could have had the fan bases that they had. There was one person in particular, Hyewon, that I remember thinking, you got to be fucking shitting me that she's in this group. And my response to all that was, I wasn't going to buy the music. And I haven't. I haven't bought anything Eyes One. Then season four, wanted to watch it because I knew that whoever got into this group would be a part of one of the biggest boy bands in K-pop. And so I watched season four. Um, Johan was my early babe. And at the end of the show, he did make it into a group. But I remember watching the finale results and thinking, there are some people here that should not be here. I even felt that in the voting round right before the finale. I remember thinking, this shit don't seem fair. But they did the final votes and... There were some people that made it to the group I was really happy about, and then some people that made it to the group that I'm like, really, that kid? I don't recall them being a fan fave. And then there was one particular person that did not make it into the final group that everybody thought, some shit is up here. Something the fuck is going on. Well, once everybody kind of had that feeling, it became, what are the votes? Like, Tell me how he didn't make it. Like, was it a really thin margin? Like, how did he not make it into the group? Once they started putting out the vote tallies, it was obvious that something was wrong. Like, the intervals between different people and their rankings were, like, a little too perfect. And, like, all the numbers were, like, even numbers that they ended on. And, like, the shit just didn't sound right. Well, the story initially from Mnet was, oh, we had one person who was in charge of the votes and they made a mistake. Oh, who knows? Then it became, that doesn't seem like a one-man thing. How would this one person be in charge of all this? And how would they come up with these numbers out of nowhere? Like, it just, it never made any sense. So then some fans were like, okay, well, if one person made up the numbers, but we paid to vote, we would like the police involved. Because obviously, this is some kind of a Ponzi scheme. You charged us to do a vote that was never really taken into consideration not gonna let that slide police you need to get in there and see what's happening police get in there and they find all kinds of shit and it turns out that it is exactly what we all thought from the jump these companies were paying the producers to give favors to their trainees and then it really starts to snowball because now they're saying show me the money is rigged they're saying the show um idol school is rigged they're saying unpretty rap star is rigged like all these different shows that went through they're all saying are rigged which 
I think between you and me, we kind of all knew the shit was rigged. Like the season of Unpretty Rap Star with Trudy, you cannot tell me that Trudy was meant to win that season. The fuck not. The fuck not. No. Mm, don't. Don't even play games with me like that. Don't even play games with me like that. That was not Trudy's season to win. Especially because all the blackface shit came out during that season. That's when she should have went down. But instead, she made it to the end. Lies. Lies, fabrications, falsehoods, inaccuracies. So, they start getting into it and they realize the scheming and the plotting for produce is at every fucking level. It's not just one person manipulated the vote count. It is companies are taking the PD out to strip clubs and getting them boned in order to influence him to do certain things. People are being given choreography ahead of time. They're giving song choices ahead of time. People are not even living in like the same housing units with each other. Like all kinds of shit is going on in the background. But the reason why that has something to do with Wano is because Starship is being accused of being one of the companies that paid for their trainees to get some sort of placement. And to be honest with you, if you watch the season, there's one episode in particular that makes you think them hoes is not lying. Because there was an episode where they had to do choreography to a song. It was a song cover. And it was a song they already knew, or like a popular song. But they had to do new choreography and new arrangements for the song. And the two Starship trainees had the choreography already ready. Like they were like, we've already figured out it's gonna be this, that, the other. And the team leader was not from Starship. And he's like, that's cool that you're working on that, but the rest of us who are in the team have voted me to be the leader and I am going to be coming up with the choreography. So I really don't want you telling me what the choreography is going to be because I've already figured out what the choreography is going to be. And the one Starship trainee like really got a case of the ass and was like, that's not fair. I feel like you're not listening to me and I worked really hard and I just want to be heard. And everybody jumped down Sihun's neck. I remember his name specifically. It's Kim Chi-hoon. Chi -hoon. I may be saying it wrong. He's in um, Boys to Capo. That's his new group now. Um, but everybody was like, you're a bad leader and you should be letting everybody input and such and such. No. Now looking back at it, he probably was like, yes, I know that the choreographers at your label gave you this choreography, but the rest of us don't have that advantage. So we need to come up with choreography that makes it fair for the rest of us who want to be a part of the final group. How about them apples? And so, yeah. Starship is fixing to be really found out. And because of that, Starship is like, if Wano wants to leave and the public is not really happy about the weed stuff and it's having to do with these unsavory characters that already have a bad name, maybe we just not interfere with him leaving. Maybe we just allow this to happen. Because honestly, they can't afford to defend Wano right now. And it sucks. It sucks because... It sucks because Wano lives in South Korea, just to be fucking honest with you. Like, just to boil it down to one singular point, it sucks that Wano lives in South Korea. If Wano lived in America, and people were like, he smoked weed when he was a teenager, hell, he smoked weed last week, people would not even bat an eyelash to that. In South Korea, though, saying somebody smoked weed when they were a kid is like saying somebody smoked crack when they were a kid. Like, people don't get over that shit over there. Like, it's a really serious business. And also, you're dealing with a filial uh, kind of mindset of the things I do affect everybody else. We all have a share at Han. So, that's a problem. Plus, you have really high levels of unemployment in South Korea right now super high levels and you've got a lot of young people and middle-aged people who are facing massive amounts of debt. South Korea has a lot of consumer debt per person and they're looking at these idols which are these beautiful young people that seem to be living these dream lives and a lot of people that are down here at the bottom, a lot of people who are down here struggling to pay their bills, struggling to pay tuition, struggling to pay back loan sharks and you know able to afford their apartments and all this other stuff. They're looking at these beautiful young people who seem to have had it all and don't face any hardships and they think, why do they deserve a life that I can't have? Why do they deserve to have people throwing money and gifts at them and not me? The main thing that you have that I don't have is that you hit the genetic lottery. 
You didn't even have to earn your talent. You just have talent. Meanwhile, I have to try really hard to get everything I want. Why do you deserve to live a better life than me? That is the reason why Starship is not working day and night to get Wanho back into Monster X. I don't think it's because the people at Starship hate Monster X. The people at Starship hate Wano. No. Is that you literally have entered the perfect storm of the Korean public being dissatisfied with idols, period, flat out, needing someone to blame for the fact that they're unhappy, so they pull these idols into it, and also respectability politics in Korea. All of these things, plus Starship about to be in some serious trouble for all this produce manipulation, when you stack it all together, there was no way to win this. And I'm not saying that to go against those people who are renting billboards and running hashtags and all that stuff, because I'm not a hater like that. I don't hate like that. I know that you need to do what you need to do to make you feel better. But when I'm saying that this is an uphill climb, I mean, bitch, this is a Mount Everest of an uphill climb. Like, for real, for real. Because you're having to deal with a Korean public who already is kind of upset at idols. They feel like they've been cheated by idols. They feel like they've been cheated of their own regular ass opportunities. Then you've got a corrupt television station that has been manipulating the game from day one. And you've got a company that has some of the mark of the beast on them because they have two trainees that people are looking at and saying they didn't deserve to be where they are today. So when you put that all together, yeah, the timing just fucking sucks. And I read a tweet somewhere where people were like, all this stuff that's going on in K-pop, all these K-pop scandals, all this stuff with idols, it all has to do with something big going on in the Korean government. I don't know if it's a specific, a specific thing going on with the Korean government, but there is a hate storm in Korea right now. And it's not even just idols. It's tensions between Korea and Japan right now. It's tensions between Korea and China right now. Like there's a lot of shit going on in the day-to-day -day lives of Korean people. And the way that all governments distract the populace is through entertainment. They do it by giving you something to hate that is easier to hate than the government. They give you something to lust after that can satiate you and kind of distract you from what's going on in the background. That doesn't mean that I think that the Wanho stuff is some big government conspiracy and that Han So-hee is on the payroll of the Korean government. That's not what I'm saying at all. Don't take it there. Even though I am known for my tin hat conspiracies, what I'm saying is all of the new stuff about idols dating and this one being caught in a scandal and this one being caught smoking weed and this one doing that one, all that stuff serves as a general everyday smokescreen to the public to keep them from thinking about how shitty the economy is or how there might be a global recession coming because there probably is one coming y'all to keep them from thinking about all that stuff we're here with oh it must be idol culture and entertainment culture instead of a government that really hasn't treated us the way we deserve that really hasn't given policy that could protect us from some of the things that we're facing right now so it just it sucks that this is where we are but if you had to ask me do i believe that wanho is going to get back with monster x at starship my answer is no and that's based on Starship alone. It's not based on the other members loving Wano or the public loving Wanho that has always loved him. It is based on Starship and their cowardice because they're already facing enough slings and arrows and they're not willing to face anymore. Um, and I realize that there's going to be a lot of downvotes on this video. I'm willing to take it. I, I've already lost so many subscribers. I don't, obviously I don't care. I just like to mention it because I don't want you to think that you're doing something with the down votes. Like, oh, I'm hurting her feelings. Trust me, you ain't hurting nobody's feelings. But yeah, I mean, I, I hope the fans continue to do things that bring them happiness, that continue to make them feel like they're making moves out here. But in terms of the reality of the situation, feet on the ground, 
I just, I don't see the recovery. And I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that I'm lying. I really do. I hope that, you know, Starship proves me wrong. I hope that they're brave and they make a decision that I don't think that they're capable of making. But, I mean, I have been in K-pop for a while. I've seen some things. I feel like the best outcome, if I had to put my finger on the best outcome, would be that Wano pulls a J Park. Like, if I had to put my finger on what I think would be the best outcome is that Wano pulls a J Park and he's able to somehow, like, do something that's just so undeniable that the public has to give it to him. Because I've not ever seen it work out another way. I, actually, you know what? Yeah, that's what it's going to have to be. Because I'm trying to think, there is one person who overcame a massive scandal and sh end up becoming number one again. And that person is MC Mung. MC Mung had a huge scandal where he tried to pull out all of his teeth to avoid conscription. And for a long time, people were like, we are not fucking with him. Get him out of here. It's over. It's canceled. And it's funny because the public still hates on MC Mung, but he also charts all kill. So funny. Weird. But he managed to make it back. And he's even said in his statements, he's like, I know that there's nothing I'll ever be able to do to get the public to forgive me, no matter what. But music is all I know. And so that's what I have to continue to do. And I sometimes feel like that's just it. I feel like if something is all you know, you'll make a way. And it may not be with the same love and affection that you had before. But you know, if you're really talented and you've really got it and you really try hard, there's something there for you. And in some way, I think Wano will always be connected with the K-pop industry, with the music industry, with idol culture, and whatever way that takes him, whatever it tends to, wherever he lands, I'm gonna support him, but I also feel like when it comes to Starship, they, they just, they don't have it. Starship doesn't have the balls to make it happen. And fan pressure aside, I don't think that they're ever going to get the balls to make it happen. And so this is a period of time where really what we can do is we can support the artists and wish for the best for them. But I think that it's going to be difficult for us to get the result that most of us would hope would happen, you know. And side note, um, X1. I liked X1's debut I like most of the members of X1 just fine. There's a lot of hashtags out there to support X1 because the public is saying that the whole group should disband. I don't agree that the whole group should disband. I, I do think, though, that if we find out which people were manipulated into the group, that those people, by all rights, should probably be eliminated from the group. And I again, downvote. Downvote all you want to. I get you. There's a lot of people who are going to say it's not fair because it was the company that cheated, not the trainee. I understand that. Here's the thing, though. If what people have said is true about the fact that the trainees were given the material prior to filming for the show, then that makes that trainee complicit in the cheating process. It would be like if you had a homegirl and y'all were about to take the midterm exam and she's like, girl, I've got the te test questions for you. Crack open a book and start studying the test questions to have these answers ready when you take the test. If I make an A on the test and I'm in like the top three people in the class who made this A, I deserve to lose my grade because I had the questions ahead of time. Even if I had to open a book to get those answers to fill them out on the test, I had the questions ahead of time. And I had a choice. I could use those questions and I could take that and prepare for the test. Or I could say, no, homegirl, I'm not going to use these questions. I'm going to study on my own and make it happen for me. And the problem is, when you look at footage, like the whole thing with the choreography incident, it makes it seem like they took the advantage. And if you took the advantage, you can't be here anymore. Because fair is fair. 
you know? So, yeah, you may love them, but you have to acknowledge if they took the advantage, they don't deserve the reward. Eyes one, probably a similar situation as well. If you took the advantage, you don't deserve the award. So while I don't have any ill feelings towards anyone in X1, at the same time, there are some people who really put their hopes and dreams on the line wanting this to happen for them, and they didn't get that chance. And it's not fair to them that they had their opportunity robbed from them by people who took the advantage, and those people aren't suffering any consequences for it. So, disagree with me if you want. I understand. I understand that this is, this is an opinion that is mine and mine alone. But one thing you'll always get from my channel, if you get nothing else from me, you'll always get it 100%. I'm always going to give you the truth. And this is just the truth as I see it. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk with you later. Bye.